Hello everybody, welcome to Strider vs Inarian, Group A, Week 2 of the Blood Bowl Super League. Strider in blue, Inarian in red. Strider won the toss, chose to kick. And uh, interesting, so yeah, what he's done is he's taken a mighty blow war dancer. So he's got a kind of a standard-ish team build, I guess, with the uh, thrower and a couple of catchers here. And the uh, dancers and the tree. Three rerolls and an apothecary. So it's actually two rerolls and apothecary, and he's got the leader reroll. Um, there was a great, a great thing that um, Kfog. If you've heard of Corfu, I enjoyed his build. His build um, involved giving up a skill for extra money, so that you could have three, three, re three real rerolls and an apothecary. Um, Inarin, on the other hand has got the thrower and has got no apothecary he has spent loads of money on players he's got a sidestep catcher there and he's got two more catchers and he's got two throwers so Narin has spent loads of money on catchers and throwers and is missing either a reroll or a uh, or an apothecary because of it but he's oh yeah well, no he's got the 12th player right so he's missing both isn't he he's missing literally both he's got He's got one reroll plus the leader, so he's he's down. Yeah, he's down a lot actually with all these positionals. High risk, high risk from uh, in our own. He's got the usual tackler and stripper, and uh, Strider's gone for the stripper. And yeah, the mighty ball's interesting, right? Because a lot of the games, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of tackle honestly enough. It, it gets different if we had Amazons, because. Um, you know they're really good but we don't and um oh yeah sorry i forgot uh if you're still watching at this point please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also tell us in the comments have you read lord of the rings because there's been a bit of controversy about me not not reading or liking lord of the rings so there you go only seen the first two movies Sorry to that random person on YouTube who didn't like me not liking the same things he likes <laughs> but there you go Yep. <laughs> Can you read Hanson in the comment? Yeah, it's pretty fun. I probably have just lost more more like 170 than that from YouTube. <laughs> maybe 17 on Twitch and and maybe 1700 on, on YouTube. People sure do like Lord of the Rings. But um I don't and that's fine, isn't it? You would think that would be fine. This is quite a nice uh, pitch, I think. I Obviously, I've got the low graphics so that it uh, makes it a bit cleaner to see things. But uh, it, it's all in all pretty, pretty clean, uh, pretty clean pitch. I think they did, yeah, more ready. But uh, I only watched the first two. <laughs> Ooh, keeps them in contact. I don't like that. Was that a misclick? Maybe. That was maybe a misclick. Pushes the tree, does nothing. And now just a one from the uh, from this catcher here. Instead of instead of having a dancer on the LOS, this is a all weird all round from an area. Yeah. Weird, weird, weird turn from an Aryan. Uh, giving up blocks, making 1Ds, uh, not ideal, not an ideal start, and now, of course, Strider will just get to bang somebody with Mighty Bull, which is quite nice. I don't think you'll be too bothered about trying to, you know, intersect the team or anything, just take the free hits, and bang, bang, bang. No punish on the uh, hit that was given up. If you were, if you're interested in their default colours, they both just kept the default colours. So it's it's yellow and green versus yellow and green. So it's literally impossible to see who's who if uh, if it wasn't blue and red. And also, I quite like having the positional rings on because I find it very difficult to tell who's a thrower and who's a catcher. So yeah.
Yeah, Demi, Demi Kulisa, yeah, yellow and green. Is he going to gun foul this uh, dancer? Interesting that he didn't blitz this guy, right? Like, ob obviously it makes sense. Do you want a mighty blow the uh, mighty blow the dancer if you can? And he could have also pushed him into, you know, pushed him at the tree so he could have 3D'd him and he could have uh, pushed him into more follow-up blocks and stuff. Stabbed him. Could have pushed him into a stab. So, like, it, it was a sensible blitz. Um, but it does mean that he doesn't get to block this guy. But I guess he does get to surround him, doesn't he? Which is quite nice. For glorious Steve. <laughs> wow, Rip Gorty, that's pretty harsh to Peter Jackson. I mean, I, d I don't know. The problem is they've got to fit it into the uh, they've got to fit it into the movie time, haven't they? I can imagine that's not easy. Is he fouling? No, he's just going to stand up because he's got no. He's fouling. Okay. Gets to the KO, not sent off. And yeah, so he's got the he's got the stabber guy, which is pretty nice, isn't it? This catcher getting uh, getting stab. That's a very powerful kickoff result. I wonder if it is worth it. You know, I didn't think cheerleaders were worth it, but honestly, seeing as the they fixed the table for um, what are these called? What are these called? Exhibition matches. Seeing as they fixed the the uh, press to nuffle table. F like it's actually they're pretty powerful, right? Person Nuffle are pretty powerful because they've taken out a lot of the irrelevant ones and then they've left in the insane ones with like getting a giving a guy stab and giving a guy a mighty blow and stuff, so I wonder if it's not too crazy. Yeah, catch with knife is top tier. Do you remember, do you remember Crucifer's one from the playoffs? It was insane. It absolutely dominated the matches. Just, just uh, like a random bodyguard or whatever. It was in unbelievably incredible. Oh, Diamond, Diamond starting soon, of course. Diamond versus Cold Trip. Uh, I we'll have to do that as a replay because you know, elves, elves, elfing is is generally people more interested in that. Uh, so it's eight, right? So not, normally there's sixteen in in a in a in a normal game of Blood Bowl three but in the exhibition ones they they remove all like the pointless ones like the star player point ones they've, they've got the proper table of only eight so i mean if you if you own the if you own the rule book from games workshop you can uh, you can look it up and uh, yeah so it, i wonder if it is like if it's all like you know if you're not obviously not as your first one but if you've got say two assistant coaches if you've got 30k like orcs get 30k spare don't they i think do orcs get 30k left so rather than going three coaches, you could go two coaches and a cheerleader. I wonder if that's actually correct. Um, because they're just they're super, so powerful, aren't they? So only a 2D here. Um, and would have been tempted to blitz the defenseless guy, right? Different if this was a catcher, so you could have like 3D'd a dodge player, but... Just two ding a dodge player, like obviously it was really hard to three. Like he could have three nice him, but not worth the commitment, I don't think. So maybe I would have just blitz the other guy to get a two D. Oh, gets him down. Like obviously you're in, yeah, like you want to knock down the guy furthest forward most of the time, right? The deepest penetration you want to, uh, you want to attempt to deal with. But on the other hand, you do also want to maximise your chance of knockdown with your mighty blow fella. And also knocking this da guy down and basing him isn't so good because you can just 2 plus away with a reroll, can't you? Whereas if it had been this guy who was knocked down and based, it would be 2 plus without a reroll. <laughs> the tree's just pushing each other. Fantastic. Maybe he should have not stood firm, right? Because he hadn't he had an assist. But then I guess if he does that, he doesn't get to punch him because he just wouldn't follow. So no, that was a terrible idea. This way he can just stand up and get an assist and 2D the tree back. <laughs> very, very strong formation from uh, Strider, isn't it? So imagine Inarian. Oh, we could try and snipe the leader and just run back to, uh, to midfield. It's only turn three. Plenty of time available. He's down a dancer.
good thing about this is you get to punch him into the uh, into the tree, don't you, for a three D if you want. Doesn't have to. And gets a removal. There you go. Leader down. Reroll gone. For Strider. That was a bit that was a bit I don't want to say, you know, the worst play I've ever seen. <laughs> like Artemis might. <laughs> but that, that was certainly uh like, you know, this was the obvious player to blitz whoever was in that position, right? Whoever's in this position is in the most obvious position to get blitzed. So then to put your leader out there is is kind of asking for trouble, right? And so tree just hits him, so doesn't want to uh, commit to the tree fight. It is interesting. I wonder if, like, say this this dodge or this dodge, you know, maybe the leader could have gone there and then expose the dodge guy to get blitzed. Generally, want people like oh this guy, right? This guy could have. Uh, could have been taken out. You generally want to be like, you know, offering up your least valuable or kind of at least defended players to get blitz. It's like Inarian has got these two rubbish guys. Or this guy, or this guy. He's too far away for the dancer. You want to really hit with the mighty blow, so. Probably, and he's shown no fear about blitzing the dodge player, so he'll probably just blitz him again. I don't hate the pitch, honestly. I don't hate the pitch. Just pushes. Three, four, five, six. He could, he could follow and uh, and bring in somebody else and get three dices here, couldn't he? Would be kind of a <laughs> would be kind of a commitment, but <laughs> decides against it. Tree finally goes down. Sky ends up stunned. There's no gaping hole, is there? Hard to tell which team's which. <laughs> With the rings. Like, obviously, you can see blue and red. Oh, he takes root. No, he doesn't take root. He failed the stand up. Okay, I saw the one, and thought it was a take root fail. So he, he passed the take root, but failed the stand up. So that's annoying, isn't it? Essentially a stunned, essentially a stunned tree. Could try and switch back to here. The problem is then that's letting the dancer hit somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard to tell which. Which tree's blue and which tree's red, isn't it? Oh, they've got a red face and a blue face. Yeah. Oh! Does a cheeky pass? Is he going to hand off and score? I think he is, you know. Inarian bangs it in on turn four. Inarian does like to score early and go on defense. And he does have a tackle and a stripper to, uh, you know, the guy came back. Oh my God, I'm so terrible at this. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the tackle dancer came back, so he does have both dancers available. I can't tell anything without the positional rings on. There we go. Now you can see where the dancers are. Um, so yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Like, you know, Woody's mirror, like obviously this looks like just a 2-1 grind for Strider now, but it's not that easy, is it? Because, you know, the dancer can come in, leap in, 1-D him, strip him or tackle him. So, it'll be interesting. It's certainly not over. Don't say it's over. But yeah, this is this is the way like Inarian likes to play, right? So, not surprising to see him do this under any circumstance. And he did get the uh, did get the reroll out, didn't he? And there is a throw stays out, so Strider is still on two rerolls and only has 10 players total, so touch and go, isn't it? Very exciting, very exciting, the uh, Wood Elf mirrors. A bit more than like, you know, bash versus bash, where it's mostly, mostly punch things. People do like to see things happen. I say as I scroll off. Brilliant coaching. Oh, well, he gets his reroll anyway. So he's back to, with a reroll advantage. There's a lot of wood. I quite like that. I've said it about a hundred times, but I do quite like this pitch. That's a very reasonable pitch. It might be the new best pitch, honestly. This wood elf pitch might be the new best pitch. Have you read Lord of the Rings, dearly? Yeah, it's pretty great, isn't it? I wonder what it'll look like with like full settings. I've I've got the settings turned down to make it like you know look a bit less contrasty and a little brighter. Um, so I wonder if you know like the grass itself would look better if on um, higher settings. You can be my wingman anytime. Fwah. Hello. Hello. You can be mine. Hello. Five <laughs> Hello. I want to be clear. I don't come with a raid. I come by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was crazy timing, right? Uh, big red from C Bros. Thank you very much, C Bros. Welcome, C Bros. People, <laughs> C Brawlers. I don't know what what the what it is. Hello, Fami. How are you, sir? Uh, not bad, not bad. Just finished my stream and decided to come here and pay you a visit. Glorious. So you here uh, all by yourself. Glorious. Thanks very much. <laughs> Share the screen and I'll be ready to go. Ah, yes, of course. I always forget to do that. Well, I just joined, so it makes perfect sense. Yep. There you go. Sea bra Sea brows! I always like to say sea brows. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. There's literally no reason. It's not, you know, like, I think it's correct or anything. <laughs> I just, just, I just do some things that amuse me sometimes. There you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Hello, Elb. This is... <laughs> I've spent most of the game, Elb, saying how much I like this pitch. <laughs> it's actually good. Yeah. Just because it's bland, isn't it? It's bland, it's green, you can see what's happening. It's got, you know, the, the, the things that are on are at least accentuating where the lines are, right? Like the, the fucking trees in the end zone, yeah, like the roots yeah, in the end zone. Yeah, you can see clearly the squares. Yeah. Yeah, pretty happy about the pitch. And the red and blue feature is great because without it, it would be like this. <laughs> and without the skill rings, it would look like this. <laughs> it would look oh like this. Oh my god, oh my god, what's wrong with these people? <laughs> how, how can you do that? It's a big effort to make two teams look exactly the same. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad, yeah. So now we've got now we've got blue and red, and uh, we've got Strider in blue, Inarin in red. Oh, Inarin's going straight in. Okay, he's not in, but he's straight on the cage. Gets a knockdown, an armor break, and he's tagging the cage. Wow. 
Um, good evening, Stormlight. Thank you very much for the raid. <laughs> Help you, dirtbag. <laughs> so a bit dangerous here. So uh, very dangerous here from from Inarian, right? Three players essentially behind the ball. I don't really don't like putting players behind. And he's got four players behind the ball. This is very very aggressive. Obviously, it might pay off. Um, I think the last two were maybe not needed because this is really inviting. Um, Strider to kind of try and punch a hole, right? Yeah. Yeah, holes can be made. Mm. I mean, it's pretty tight, but this is a good elves and it's a two plus dodge mm. for the ball, you know, to get free. But it's tricky though, right? I mean, this is how Inarian plays, right? Like, he, he, he does play like this, you know, he makes it tricky for you and you've got to, like, you know, not roll terribly and play perfectly pretty much every turn and uh and this is a, this is exactly it that i think this is maybe a bit too much a bit too much in right particularly the thrower right like having this guy as a secondary scoring threat and then this guy to trap him like both of those are still you know they're, they're just risky because you've got three players behind the ball but this guy seems a bit yeah i'm not sure i like this I, i'm sure i don't like this guy but so yeah, he's just just consolidating. Consolidating and getting more trap. Yeah. But then you know, by the same token, obviously, an Aryan has to play perfectly on defense. Otherwise, you know, there'll be a there'll be a one D to get everybody through. Well, you know, I mean, that's probably always going to be the case, to be honest. Um. So yeah, interesting. <laughs> it's funny, you know, you know, in Arian is somewhat similar to Chunter, you know, in that they like to score and go back on defense and, you know, get a lot of men in contact and stuff. Um, in, uh, Artemis always calls Inarian the evolved Pokemon form of Chunter. <laughs> And uh, but I think they are similar, you know. Like they're they're obviously not. Um, yeah, they are super aggressive uh, coaches. Yeah, they're not they're not identical, but they're, they're, there's some similarities there, right? The way they approach the game and stuff, and both kind of like necessitated from the kind of teams they prefer, right? Like you know, at high TV, it's particularly in Blood Bowl Two, you're on like a massive clock of your if your team just getting destroyed by claw palm and stuff, and uh, so that's why they've adopted this style of. Very aggressive, super aggressive. Oh, tackle, that's a thing. Mm. And now we're very much playing like a pro elf player <laughs> without sidestep. <laughs> <laughs> this dance is getting served, isn't he? Unless something happens here. That uh, seems like a possibility, but I think... Wait, no, no, he doesn't have any more players to activate, you know, to put some support to the war dancer, so yeah. Yeah, this is but looking... But surfing the war dancer is a big investment in the uh, players. <sighs> yeah, it's turn six. Yeah, to be fair, it is turn six. It is turn six. And then, so then how are you going to penetrate later if you don't? This turn, maybe he should have gone last turn. Honestly, maybe Strider should have gone last turn because I think I think the last turn was when there was at least a little more space, uh, the time to actually try to break through. Mm. Because now he's trapped. Yeah, this is pretty. Two players on the ground. Ball base. And Arion has enough players, you know, to... Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I think he did have to try and rescue his, his dancer because, you know, dancers are movement eight. Ooh. Wow. Moving that guy first was super risky. <laughs> I guess he's got two rerolls. He'd reroll the dodge, but still, I, I feel like you keep that there. 
I think you keep the dancer out wide and then and then try the dodge and then move the dancer over afterwards. Ooh! Ah, uh, reroll has to be used. Oof. Flip me. Yeah, this is a pickle now, isn't it? I mean, I guess you blitz and then dodge out. Like, just ball carrier blitz. And then 3-2, potato. Yeah, a big potato. I'm a very lonely potato. <laughs> yeah. Ah, or he can... No, 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 you can just blitz with the wrestler, right? The the, the wrestler can... Uh, can blitz. Yeah, the have the, the hit there. And then if he pounds... Well, first of all, three. I'll try to move the tree. Oh, you can blitz this yeah. one. You can blitz this one. You can 1D him, 2D him, and then just go down the sideline. That's it. Simple. That has to be the play, I think. I was thinking this was his tree, but this this is the red tree, right? So this is a big problem. This is a big problem, this red tree. Yeah, he should try and move his tree at least, yeah. Yeah, I mean, try to move the tree. At least you can base one of the woodies, you know. Oh, so coming you can base two of them, and if he doesn't ah. work well, oh, Whoop. belly hard. Cheeky cows. Yeah, more dready, called it, blitz back and then move around. I mean, the problem is it's turn six, but I guess it's, it's he is fast as and he's got two turns to get 13, so it's still fine. Yeah, and just a few dodges, uh, more or less, left the ball a little protected. Yeah. Actually, really nice. He doesn't even have to move the tree, and he's got this tree is tagged off on a dodger. But I mean, this is a, a two tackles only pin, right? So yeah, he, he brings him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he had to bring him in as well. I think he had to bring him in as well to to stop. Yeah, three plus leap in. Um, Problem is. Uh... Enarion can reposition uh, his whole team, more or less, without having to do, uh, roll any dodge or anything. And we are in the same situation, but at the other side of the pitch. Yes, yeah. He's, he's, he's switched like the tree relevance, though, hasn't he? He's got a little bit further forward, and now Enarion's tree's a bit rubbish, and his tree's a bit good. But yeah, Enarion can still uh, screen very effectively, if he, if he wants. See without the rings. It is hard to tell what's going on sometimes, isn't it, with all the colours of the rings? But then without the rings, I can't tell which play is which. <laughs> Don't talk about rings, so you haven't watched The Return of the King. <laughs> Absolute tragedy. Yeah, I watched. I watched the first. I watched the first one because Sean Bean was in it, and then I watched the second one because my friends convinced me to. Use the term I mean, the friends third, loosely. The second one, seeing Bean appears a lot. Yeah, and then the third one, I'm like, oh, just there's no need reason for me to watch it, is there? I wasn't a big fan. Sorry, sorry, fellow nerds. <laughs> Not a big fan of Lord of the Rings. So yeah, he's just screening. But the problem is with just screening, then he just gets, you know, now by by just screening like this. Strider essentially gets uncontested movement forward and has a nice screen. So doesn't seem good enough unless he's gonna go for a ball sack. It doesn't look like he is. Okay, na nailing the mighty blow would be good, wouldn't it? I'll be honest, I don't like a mighty blow in the, the war dancer. No, I mean it's not. It's not normal, is it? Tackle ta one tackle, one strip is is normal. Um, the, yeah. the standard fare, but then you know it's much. So being, being, being mighty blow a double is not like a big investment there. Yeah, yeah. The, the, it's funny, I, honestly. The, the the team I like the most is K Fogs because he he gave up a skill to get um, to get extra money so he could have three rerolls and an apple 
and I really like that build the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you know, having a having a thrower with leader is is kind of fine, right? It's kind of does the same thing, kind of. Uh, but yeah, giving up the skill for the mighty blowers, it's not normal. But then you know, look, it, it's it's be it's much better in the games where the tackle's dead, isn't it? And even when tackle isn't dead, it doesn't do that much. You know, at the end of the day, it, like if if you've got tackle versus wood elves, it it makes them use a team reroll one time in six, which is you know pretty unlikely, right? That he's making them force six dodges anyway. And then and then when you when you hit them, you're knocking them over thirty percent, and he ups it to fifty five. So a lot of the time you'd roll the thirty percent, and a lot of the time you would roll the forty-five percent. So, the, the, the you know the one in four chance that it's relevant on a on a on a hit. So it it's really isn't that tackle isn't really that impactful. It's just something that people you know feel that they need. Um, but it's it's not easy to take it honestly. And like obviously people do tend to take it with wood elves, but I don't hate not taking it. Like you know taking a frenzy instead. Um, but yeah, the mighty blow does seem a bit. A little bit dodgy. Well, I don't like this position of him here because he, he's he's got he's got a player here. That's, uh, a lot of uh, you know very close to the opposing team. Yeah, that's not what you want against uh, war dancers. Boy, howdy. I mean, flip me. Yeah, he had to. He had to get that one in, didn't he? Yeah. But I mean, we've got an easy uh, three plus leap in for a one D, either with strip or tackle. Probably the strip. So that's probably what you're going to do. Okay, so he shored that up. Now the leap in would be a four plus. Well, there is still a leap from the right side of the cage. I mean, he has enough uh, players there to get the. I don't know, no, it's his three, it's his three. That's three, it's three. Okay. He, he might have to go for it. Yeah, I think I think he has to go for the for the leap strip because I just feel like you know you can't screen well enough right with them you know being able to jump over and everything and these players are pretty far down the pitch like you know all those turns ago when he had all this up here and now it's all down here and it's not really doing a lot as a start eight for a for an area next time so yeah he needs to he can 2d actually you can actually just 2d you can 2d twice and get an assist on the ball. Can't he? This is Inarion's players. Inarion can just literally the two dice. The, the, the tree is a strider tree. But yeah, but it's not guard yeah, though. It's not guard. Yeah, he can, he yeah, can just yeah, literally move him in in 2D. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. Yeah, yeah. He sees a four. Dice. That's an instant reroll. Yeah. the bow. <laughs> he doesn't need a 1D twice. He just gets to 2D twice. Follow. Wow. Another 2D. Oh my god. Oh, another reroll. Oh my god. Horrendous dice from uh, Inarian there. Horrendous now dice. Now he has a ball base at least, the cage is base. Yep. And he can go and try the tackle hit or the strip hit. Oh my god. Now you five plus dodging, right? Because it's uh, fifty five percent in instead of fifty. But that was I was so unlucky. Both re rolls gone. Oh my god! Disaster, disaster for an Aryan. And now he's lost them both for the one turn as well. You know that he might have to almost certainly has to try now, like because this is very likely that Strider scores. Wow! Yeah, here we go. There's the dodge in. Oh no, there's two! Shit, it was a 75 dodge in. Yeah, he could blitz from there. Oh my god, I was stupid. He'd not got this knockdown. So yeah, 
So he did exactly the right thing, went for the four plus dodge in, failed it. Yeah, he... and now Strider, Strider, maybe he's gonna be able to score, maybe he needs to see the play to score here. <laughs> I think he'll I think he'll be greedy and go for the surf. I think he'll he has want to. Roll, but, uh... Can't make it a 3D on the blockless hit, that's the problem, right? You could this one could be a 3D, I think. No it can't. So he's he's got a two D but with, at least with wrestle, he's going for the surf. Yeah, yeah. So that that's that's good, isn't it? Yeah, do it with a mighty blow, and then if you uh... <laughs> are you, <laughs> he doesn't get the one turn. Oh my god! Yeah, I forgot that. In okay, sorry, Dimmy. Look, I can't. You can't expect me to know the rules of Blood Bowl, okay? So no, of course Inari doesn't get the one turn because it was his drive he'd scored yeah, early yeah. and then got scored back on and you know it just it did set up the two one grind like you know Inari set himself up to be two one grinder didn't he by scoring scoring early um, he put faith in his defence and now he's down to ten players Strider is up to eleven and uh, but he sure rolled terribly on that on the critical turn didn't he I mean that was. That was a horrendous turn for Inari, and it went from 2D, 2D, to potentially 2D the ball, <laughs> to, to both re-rolls gone and having to 4 plus in. I mean, that was that was shockingly unlucky, to be honest. And, you know, on another day, maybe he, uh, maybe he gets an in-tunnel ahead. But now it's a big equity shift towards Strider, who can apo a KO and has an extra reroll and an extra player. So yeah, big big favorite now, Strider. So I, I guess Inari now is you know aware of the fact that he's probably going to have to uh, leap, go for the leap in one day or whatever to try and strip it. And then of course that just means Stride is going to have to redouble his his attempts to not get sacked, isn't it? It's going to super interesting. Oh blitz! Wow! 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 You can tackle this dancer, and then you're completely free to run through. So that was um, that was an unfortunate side for Inarian. <laughs> ah, he's not tackling the dancer. The problem with this is, um, I hate that. Just do a GFI. Does Inarian not know the rules? Maybe. <laughs> that was a bit weird, wasn't it? Watch, watching blitzers happen makes me think a fair few people don't know the new rules for blitzers. Because <laughs> they, like, you know, make dodges and stuff. Um, that aren't really required, but there you go. He does get the catch, and he's starting with a ball, and there's no tackle on Strider's team. Definitely making it a 3D. Uh, you can't use dodge on a blitz, and you can't use a team reroll on a blitz. You can't use any skills that give you a reroll, in fact. Well, okay, that's that's not true. So, blitz is no longer a bonus team turn. So, skills that say you can use this once per turn, you cannot use. As a pro, you can, because it's, it's different, right? So it's, yeah. I, I have corrected people for saying that and then said the same thing. Well, that is not how it is. He gets to strip him anyway and powers him anyway. So he doesn't have tackle, but he still has the strip. He gets a nice scatter. So yeah, the, the, the rule is not nothing at all to do with rerolls. It's to do with it's not a team turn. So because it's not a team turn, you can't use team rerolls. And you can't use certain skills like dodge. Uh, 
And yet I see people often making dodges with dodge players on blitzers. Like there, right? That was a dodge from an Aryan when it could have been a GFI if you were gonna if you really wanted that square. It could have just been a GFI so we'd fall over nearer the ball. Which would have been better. Yeah, so that that's like that's like just you know, it's just the way the dodge is written, you know. Like Dodge says when your opponent hits you, you're not affected by, you know, that result on the block dice. And in addition, um once per turn on your turn or once per turn you can re roll a failed dodge roll. Alright, I'm back. I was getting a coffee and feeding the, the cats. Hello. Oh uh, yes, I'm often dying for the turn over. Yes, there was a blitz. There was a, a very aggressive blitz from Inarian, and now, uh, the, but you know, Strider used a reroll, but has recovered. Ball completely caged. But yeah, just balls to the wall here. Straight balls to the wall from Inarian. Oh yeah, yeah. That was all or it was ever going to be. <laughs> yeah. 3D. And you stun. These three players completely free is is a big concern for an Aryan, isn't it? Yeah, but he has a he managed to cover the left side a little with that uh, line no? yeah. And end of the day, this is helps, you know. Doesn't matter how much uh, Strider uh, advance, Enario moves exactly the same amount. I yeah. mean, the same uh, two dodge, two plus dodge, so. Yeah. In the end, it's a race to see who's gonna win in 36 first. <laughs> Which which tree is which? <laughs> this is the red faced one. Um, oh god, red is uh, blue leaves. Yeah, so that that's in Aryans, and that's Striders. Striders in blue. So yeah, I thought he'd just assist here and then blitz him with mighty blow. Right, he's gonna have to dodge with the ball carrier. He's rolled a one versus tackle. So oh, down to one reroll. Okay, okay. reroll use. Oh, that's only one reroll or a strider. Mm. Yeah, that, there was no way out of like dodging from tackle there. So that's interesting. Okay. Now what? Oh, hmm. Oh. I would have tried to move the tree first because if the tree can move back a couple of squares. He might GFI with the tree, right? He might GFI. Or rush. Oh, yeah, he moves like he can put the tree behind the tackler. That's a really good. Yeah, yeah try and trap the trap the dancer a little bit. Oh, here we go. Boo. Boo. See, if he had done that movement first, <laughs> before doing the blitz and all that, and uh, moving the tree instead of that the square, the square to his uh, left. Maybe he would have caged a little higher. Yeah, yeah. Oof. He's got to eat that now. Yeah, with only one reroll left. Three pass for an Arion to get one D on the ball with a leap. Yeah. And three players. Three players down, right? One stun, two down. Or not even a leap with a dodge? Yeah, it depends, doesn't it? So the the, the, the leap is, is 89% as long as you commit a team reroll. Oh, you could chain him. You can chain and him, look. You can or chain him. Uh, Lovely player here. Beautiful play from Inarion. You just assist with a catcher here. No, he's 
doing an extra two plus. A bit greedy that, isn't it? Bit greedy that extra two plus. I think I would have just assisted with a catcher. Pays the dividends with the armor break, and here we go. Gets him. And that's it. Tackle walks. Drop the GGs. <laughs> End of the YouTube video. Thanks everybody <laughs> for being here. <laughs> So you could just go for the score, right? One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. Or GFI handoff. Oh, the throw is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. No, that's that's terrible. Yeah, maybe just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good, isn't it? Get him there. I wonder if he'll go for the score or not in our end. Oh, he's that gone for the thrower! I hate this. He hasn't got dodge. Oh my god, he's thinking about using the roll. Don't use the roll, you only have one left. Should have used your catcher, mate. Your catcher's got dodge. <laughs> use your catcher. Oh. Well. Yeah, I was that that was that was a lot of dice roll there for moving this thrower in. I I'd have just gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pick it up, hand off, right? That's pretty good. Thrower does not have sure hands, he's just a rubbish player. <laughs> he's got, he's slow and he hasn't got dodge. So, you know, he was going like one, two, three, four, five, six it would have been a GFI, I think, to pick it up. And Maybe he's just going to go and tag, but like, I don't know. I, I guess like a 2 plus to tag makes it then better because he's going to try the 4 plus hand pickup, right? So he's probably going to fail the pickup. So maybe he's thinking a 2 plus makes the, you know, is less likely to fail and then makes the failure state of the fail pickup better. So I imagine that's what he was doing. It was just a 2 from the, it was just a 2 from the thrower. I, I imagine it was to, it was to tag the, tag the dancer. Knowing that you're not going to reroll a pickup fail, and you're fifty percent a pickup fail, so do a two plus to make it a better position for when you do fail a pickup. It just looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? <laughs> the problem was it just looked a bit rubbish. He could have gone like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could have run around like this or something. So he'd be screening with the other one. So he could have just run around to there, which would have, which funnily enough would have stopped this this assist for this two D. But then obviously we still got the two D. But it would have would have been down a player there. So yeah, just concentrating on getting the X cage. That's still a four plus leap in. It's not. It's not ridiculous, right? Or a five plus, if you don't use a reroll. And the three moves. Mm. Now we can try and get these two guys back to relevancy. Ooh, the problem with this is it means his tree can go in and stand on it. Yeah. Oh, instant Gone. one. Instant full one. <laughs> what a miss roll by an Arion. What a miss roll. Yeah. So you know misclick miss roll. Yes. Uh, it's like failing, but it uh, sounds better. Yeah, miss roll. I like that, I like that. Uh, yeah, remember, you kind of have to, right? Because... Um, he's a strength three bludger, and then if he loses it, then you've got your strip baller standing to be able to go and get it back. Like normally, if you had a tackle and a stripper, you'd carry it on your stripper, so your tackler could go out punching things, um, and then you know you'd still have the tackle to recover as well. So I think, but I think with the mighty blow not being like a ball blitzing player. And he's the natural one to carry it on. 
I mean, also it's just the one that happened to. Like, I think yeah, I think he was gonna carry it on the strip ball, but I think it's I think it's fine either way. Like, yeah. Mm, this looks a little bit too easy for Strider that, here. The tackler is on though, isn't it? So. Instant 2D. But the mighty bloke can punch anyway, can't they? Yeah. Like the mighty bloke can still punch, right? But yeah, if, if you've got a stripper and a tackler, you generally carry on the stripper and punch with a tackler. The roots? Or... Yeah. yeah, both trees rooted. <laughs> Rooted, so that's gonna be one of the corners of the cage, probably. <laughs> if you can get around, yeah. I wonder if he'll just bring the catcher over here and then do a blockless block. And then if it's a power, it lets him blitz his dancer with mighty blow, which is obviously better than blitzing him with not mighty blow. Clever, Jim. <laughs> there you go. Eh? The mighty blow is only better if you miss the armor break. If you miss roll the armor value and need mighty blow. <laughs> roll sixes and you know mighty blow is a useless skill. Yeah. Also, it could it could also chain out his thrower as well. So this is actually looks really nice, right? Because now if this is a pal, sucks a blockless block with only one reroll. Yeah, but if it was, so he could push him in there, and then if it was a and then he could have if it had been a pal, you push him there, follow, and this gives you a two D here, which would then push him out. To get out on a two plus, so he's still going to do it. Maybe he's still just going to. Uh, so I mean, he hasn't followed. Okay. Interesting. I mean, this is still tricky, isn't it? <laughs> like he's got a bunch of two pluses, but he's only got one reroll. So making a bunch of two pluses each turn isn't that good. I really hate that push direction. Like, like you, with it being a push, you just push him here and then blitz with your dancer. That was yeah. oh, that was the obvious play, and now now you, that looks rubbish because now if you blitz with your dancer, he's got tackle on two players, and you can't use either of these two. And because he didn't follow, he can't blitz with somebody else. So, and he's really not going to want to dodge away from tackle right now. Eating into his time bank. 3 minutes 30. Mm. I have to say, Strider has done one of the worst dagas I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, involuntary dagger, isn't it? Thanks to the blitz. Uh, involuntary dagger, dagger against uh, his will. <laughs> Minutes 45. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now he has to blitz. What a what a disaster turn. Also, oh, the reason he didn't push him there was because he wanted a cage here, I guess. Oh, random and cows. There you go. You know something good came out of there. That's the one player less. Dodge works and yeah, thanks to those dice, it's uh, 
it's suddenly become a pretty great turn, hasn't it? Especially if he does the two oh, as well. Oh, wow. nice of those dodges there. Wow. That was such a dodgy turn. <laughs> and just everything came together. All according to plan. Mm. Oh. Armor break. Mm. Rough for uh, Inarian, isn't it? With only one reroll, yes, uh, there is no much space for a uh, magic uh, place. I mean, he can reposition uh, nearly all uh, his players, you know, to create a very good screen. Mm -hmm. And keep the pressure. Yeah. Uh, it's tough. It's it's tough. the The problem is like screening is just not good enough, right? If that's the problem, I I wouldn't have hated uh, this catcher coming through like on a on a four plus, two plus, and then like basing, and then the, this dancer coming through in a four plus two plus to hit the ball. Like the, the, as horrible as that looks, it's just like I don't like just tr trying to screen, I Come just can't on, see it you working. Never in your life would have done a play that involves a 4 plus. <laughs> yeah. Be on it. Be on it. Believe it or not, I would. I would. I actually would. Because just screening almost doesn't even work right in this rule set because they can jump over people and stuff. Like, I mean, dancers could leap anyway, but do you know what I mean? Like, any any team can just jump over, so, like, it's really, really hard to just, like, screen and stop a score by just screening. You've pretty much got to get the ball sack in. Yeah, but I mean, I mean while well, he's able to keep a, a strider more or less in that part of the pitch, all the pressure is on a strider because any mistake is instant full touchdown for Enario. Yeah. And it's an over is like because he's so close. I think he'll be safe this turn though. But again one reroll, you know, I things think, could uh, fail. That uh, wrestle uh, guy lying on the ground could be, you know, uh, is looking very potato the uh, <laughs> uh, my my screen. Oh I, I think he can full cage here. I think he can I think this is a this is a full cage kind of a turn, but we'll see. We'll see if we'll see if Stride is thinking the same thing I'm thinking. The tree being rooted is annoying, isn't it? Because he'd love to like just move a square and <laughs> be basing yeah, two players. At least the other tree is also uh, root. So. <laughs> yeah, the tree's a lot worse for an Aryan, To be fair, an Aryan's tree is a much worse spot. Okay, well he's not doing what I do, he's just punching here. I think this is fine, obviously. Oh, well, it's not that fine, because the last re-roll is gone. Flip me. Oh, the one in a... The one in nine. Woo-hoo-hoo. Oh, he gets a little payment in the form of an armor break, but they're not enough. Eh? Flip me. Now it's super interesting, isn't it? Now he's going for the blitz down the sideline, I guess. He is going for the full potato. Not what I would have done, I'll be honest. I would have, I would have been blitzing this this blitzer here, and then and yeah, coming moving to the right there, side of the pitch, yeah. yeah. One of the reasons being <laughs> the dod, the one in thirty six dodge is better than one in nine block, right? In the bag of chips is a potato. <laughs> I mean, he's able to put some players to provide some support, but uh... <laughs> not much. <laughs> Flip me. Like, why not just put the ball there? Oh, God, death. Oh, 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 death. <laughs> dead, well, dead, there dead. You go. 
Wow, one, two, three, four, five. Terrible, six, terrible seven, use of the eight. apple, by the way. GFI. He was going to have to GFI and make another dodge to get there. Um. He shouldn't have used the apple. Oh, he no, he shouldn't have. The have. apple, the apple mm. just in case he gets a KO and can keep the player on the pitch. Yeah. But then we've almost run out of time for that anyway, right? With only three turns left, but yeah. Wow. There might be dice on the ball, yeah? <laughs> might not. He might double one. He doesn't double one. Oh, my God. The street ball. Yeah. Could go in the crowd. No scenario wants the ball in the crowd. Oh my god, no, just no, much better, just all a six pick up, you know, easy, 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 <laughs> busy, busy, uh, you know, no problem. Oh wow, wow. A mixed bag for Inari in there, he probably wanted to just try and score this turn. Yeah, 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 uh, picking up the ball there is uh, unfortunate for him. Probably needs this dancer back, I, I guess this dancer has to come back to help. Because otherwise, this, if this dancer pals, the catcher is away, isn't he? So he, he might, he can't really GFI. But he might have to GFI once with this dancer. Hmm. Yeah, he does GFI. Yeah, I think he. Ah, oh, that's really nice. As well. okay. So that, 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 that's. <laughs> this, <laughs> Yeah, the second's incredible, right? The second's incredible. The first one was really nice, putting him there, because then if he followed, he'd be on tackle, so he couldn't follow. So, like, I think even the first one was really good, but obviously the second one is completely amazing. Really tough for Strider now. Best case scenario, getting a 1D on the ball. Probably mm. with it. Oh, no. He could like dodge. This guy no, could dodge. Get... Like he, could... he can get two D on the ball if he uh, hits with a. Oh wait. Oh, so he's just gonna he can blitz and then block. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, blitz then block. He did need the power though, which he got. But no tackle. I don't think it's worth trying to like you know dodge through this guy somehow because he can't make it 3d no nope, only pushes him yeah. it's pretty exciting isn't it i mean l's versus l's was always going to be pretty uh was always going to be pretty uh Exciting, really. Not like all the old mirrors, yeah. <laughs> but old mirrors are very funny. There is a lot of armor wrecks, you know, <laughs> that are nightmare. Yeah. So I nearly without any time back. I Meanwhile, well, Anarion still have seven minutes, seven seconds. <laughs> yeah. There is a chance that maybe, you know, getting blitz in the kickoff wasn't a <laughs> good result for a strider. Who knows? Yeah. No, who can say if it was good who or bad? Can say, you know, sometimes blitzes uh, end horrible. <laughs> yeah. Ah, this is this is tricky, isn't it? The, uh, Inario might go on his time bank this turn. Because he doesn't want to get stripped next turn. Honestly, the ball could just go back. He could literally just dodge the ball back to here. And, like, you know, at least he's not losing it next turn. Um, or he could try, you know, for something more adventurous. Yeah. Which is what he's going for. Yeah. Not what I would have done. Who can say if it's good or bad? Well, he, does, he doesn't roll a 1. The problem is now he can just get stripped, right? So now you've got to roll more dice to keep the ball safe, whereas he could have just gone out of range and then done this 2 plus next turn or the turn after when it wins. 
rather than, you know, being in range of getting knocked over. I guess it's, it's still a bit far for this dancer. He doesn't really want to leap, does he? But he could just dodge, he could just dodge here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh! Rolled a three plus dodge? Where was he going? <laughs> what, what was that? What, I mean, it was the blitz. Yeah. One, two, oh, three, four, five, and six, click. seven, eight. No, he was gonna he was gonna blitz this dancer probably. Ah, all right. He was probably gonna blitz this dancer because it was otherwise he'd have gone back, right? So he had to be going like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI or something. Had to have been something like that. Which was a bit flipping wild. Now there is a chance that the Strider managed to hit the ball carrier. Yeah, without rerolls, I wonder what's best. I feel I feel like it's just the the four plus dodge is best. But he might not even hit the ball, right? He might just blitz the guy in front and base it and stuff. Because that's where I would have been dodging from. Way very good, Dimmy. I could come around the back, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hit from up there. Gets his scoring threat in. Lovely. Had to get that guy in. Here we go, he still has dodge. Well, who's the target for the blitz? Okay, it is him. So he goes for the 3 2. I'm not sure that's better. He gets the strip. The ball's oh, in two TZs. Very interesting square there. Mmm. Right, it has 20 seconds left. <laughs> I think he's uh, obviously, uh, well, I think he is not going to be able to win the game, so he's aiming for the draw. Yeah, I mean, he has got, he has got the scoring threat, so he might still win it. And the uh, mighty blow... Uh, he's going to run out of time before he moves the dancer. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> tragedy. Super tragedy. Flip me. Yeah, like he's got this catcher, right? And like, it's no, this isn't easy for an Aryan to like get the score or or get away or anything. I really didn't like the. Yeah, the dodge was was too rowdy, realistically. Um, just getting him out of the play. But then you know, look, if he didn't do it, he was going to get stripped, which he did. So he kind of the dodge was rowdy, but then if he didn't, he just get stripped, and he just got stripped. I thought the rowdy part was giving it to this guy. I would have just run away and then and then set up for next turn. I think that was the play. Oh, he's going for the scatter. Well, this could go anywhere. That's good for an Aryan. Oh, that's very good for really an Aryan. Really good for an Aryan, yeah. It's a three plus uh, pick up. With a, yeah. Oh, he's going to go for an extra Baseball. hit. Oh, oh my god, it's even better. Oh, and the chain. <laughs> the problem and now is this red. is a 3 2, isn't it? Whereas the catcher could just run around and try to pick it up. I don't know.
three two 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 to score, isn't it? A three two 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 to score. Or he could just hold it. Oh wow. Okay, so now he's got you know both dancers in the play kind of. Makes the three two. Makes the two. Does he go for the score? I He doesn't go for the score! Wow! What is this? Who's this uh, coach E900 C three two A one E one B E five one C What the hell is going on uh, here? Oh, dear. He just opened the can of the classic uh, six plus pass to score. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't stay where he was because he's giving an assist, right? Like, this is the problem. Oh, well, he rolled a one anyway. There you go. Oh, there you go. Congratulations, uh, E900C3. <laughs> Commiseration C696ACD348AB A3B. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what a result that was crazy that was really looking like I mean, it's just stupid I hate, I hate having this because it's like it's just not a summary screen is it um, I guess what I can do is I can put the old league table on right um, so this is this was the league table before the match so since then Strider is got a loss he stays on two points Inarion gets a win goes up to two points so uh, super interesting um and yeah, that was that was what a crazy. I mean, that could have easily been a win for Strider, couldn't it? But that that blitz just put him on the back for an all back foot, all half. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, great stuff, yeah, great the, to watch. Narion was uh, doing all the pressure, and uh, Strider was uh, feeling really, really proud, uh, having a rough time there. I mean, just the amount of bank time. Yeah. You know, tell the story. You know, and I you can blame Strider. It was a very difficult situation. Yep. Yep. There you go. Great. Great play and uh, great result for Anarian. Congrats to Anarian. Commiserations to Strider. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Find me a Glorious having you join us in the booth. There you go. Sometimes you know have to make an appearance. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.